Rasata la brega de gado shanda la bredo. Raseke tele brega de gado le brega dosia. Masakata la brega de gado le brega dosia. Rasata le brega de gado gabaratosa. Reseke tele brega de gado gado le brega dosa. Reseke tele brega de gado la brega dosh. Rabada bara 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 gada gada ya. Reseke tele brega de gado le brega dosa. Rende de 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 brega daya. Rasa kata la brega de gada gada le brega dosa. Rekete kete le brega dosi atan. Shada da 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 bara bara gada dosa. Reseke tele brega dosha. Rata kata la brega de gada le brega dosa. Rante te 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 te. Rakata kata la brega de gada gada le dosha. Rende de 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 brega doska. Rasa kata la brega deste le brega de gada. Rapa pa 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 ya ta la brega dosa. Brega ta kata la brega de gada le brega desha. Rasa kata la brega dosa. Wherever you are, begin to declare. And God made all things new for me this week. And God made all things new for me this season. 
and God made my health new this season and God made my family new this season and God made my finances new this season and God made my faith new this season and God made all things new for me. That is a declaration of faith. All things are passed away. All things are passed away. Old health has passed away. Old afflictions have passed away. And God made all things new for me. Come on, I rebuke you, spirit of accusation. You devil of accusation, accusing the heart of that person, telling him, can't you see that nothing is new? I rebuke you, spirit of accusation. I rebuke you, spirit of affliction. I rebuke you, devil of accusation. In the name of Jesus, and God made my ministry new, and God made all things new for me, and God made my family new. That which I've refused to change in my life, God has made it new today. And God made all things new for me. And God made all things new for me. And God made all things new for me. Shatarakata kabarataya. I must carry my evidences of newness. I must carry my evidences of newness. I must carry the result of my newness. I must carry the reward of my newness. I must carry the revelation of my newness. I must carry the reflection of my newness. And God made all things new. Shatatatata. And God made my calling new. And God made my strength new. And I am rising with new, you know, new strength. And God made my understanding of spiritual mysteries new. And God made my vision new. My ability to see, God has made it new, and God made my heart new. He made my soul new. He made my insights new. He made all things new. All things new. You made all things new. You made all things new. See, all things new. Hey, you made all things new. You made all things new. God has made all things new in my life. You made all things new. You made all things new. Yes, Lord, you made them new. Hey! All things new.
sing that song. Let God move in the lives of the saints. you today to meet the intercession and prophetic prayers saints of God the greatest agenda of God for you is newness it does not matter how old that has grown or how long that oldness oldness had tarried this is that week when you shall receive newness in every area of your life. In every area of your life. Newness. Newness. Revelation chapter 21 verse 5 is the foundation of today's prayer and this week and God made all this and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new he said unto me right for these words are true and faithful Write it down. For these words are true and faithful. What words? Behold, I make all things new. Now let me begin the prayer today from a very critical perspective. Saints of God, do you know that whenever God wants you to travel in a different direction, God will always attach one word. Behold, for a man travels in the direction he is set his eyes to see. Nothing changes in your life until you begin to behold it. For you can never hold what you cannot behold. Let me repeat it again. You can never hold what you refuse to behold. So the first thing about newness is that God must cure every blindness. He must end every blind blindness, physical blindness. There are different kinds of blindness. There is physical blindness where a man has eyes but he does not see what he's supposed to see. Why? The devil have made it his duty 
to always make that man to look where God is not where God's activities are not he keeps looking in the right in the wrong direction he keeps looking in the wrong places number two blindness is mental blindness where your imagination does not have capacity to imagine the beautiful things that God is ordaining for you. Number three blindness is spiritual blindness. Where you cannot see the spiritual realities that God is making available to you. Notice when God said, Behold, all things have become new. He used the word behold again in book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. He said, Behold, behold, behold. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Creature. Old things are passed away. He said, Behold, all things are become come new all things God is not refurbishing realities for you he is making all things he has made all things new the secret is in beholding I behold it now that you are making it new You've made all things new. You've made all things new. For me, I can see. You made all things new. You've made all things new. For me. Wherever you are, lay your hand upon your eyes and use it as a, as a point of contact for the eyes of your spirit, the eyes of your mind, every eyes of your understanding, the mental eye, the physical eye. Say, Father, heal every blindness that is stopping me from beholding the new things you are doing in my life. Remove the scales from my eyes. Remove the distraction from my eyes. Remove the blindness from my eyes. Remove them right now. Remove them right now. Remove them right now. Take them away. Take them away. Heal me, O oh Lord, that I might see again. That I might see again. Every distraction in my eyes. Every desolation in my eyes. Every spiritual cataract, every spiritual blindness, every veil, every veil, every veil in the eyes of my mind. Lord, in the name of Jesus, remove them right now. Remove them right now. The veil in my mind, the veil in my heart, the veil in my senses, the veil in my spirit, the veil in my spirit. Remove them right now. Shataka parata, rasa katayata, resha katarada, esataraba. Remove them. Let the scales fall. Let the scales fall. Let the scales fall. I want to behold the beautiful realities that you are making new for me. I want to see them in my mind. I want to see them in my spirit. I want to see them, O oh Lord. The oldness that I am seeing. Take them away from my spirit. Take them away from my mind. Take them away, Holy Ghost. Cure me of every blindness. Cure me of every blindness. Cure me of every blindness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear me. Saints of God. Until a man can see, he cannot cease. The ability to capture what God has kept in store for you in the covenant 
is a product of your seeing. Before God could commission Apostle Paul for his assignment in Acts chapter 9, the Bible said that the man of God came and laid hand on him and said, Receive thy sight. The Bible said, And scales fell out from his eyes. We're going to pray again this afternoon. I will not be blind to the realities of God, to the newness, to the glories, to the things. The Bible says in Acts chapter 9 verse 18, And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith and rose and was baptized. Listen, the rising of a man is a product of his seeing. Men are kept down when they are blind. You shall rise this week. I shall rise this week. Your family shall rise this week. Begin to pray. Lay your hand upon my eyes, O Lord. Lay your hand upon my eyes, Holy Ghost. Let the scales fall off. Let the scales fall off. That I may rise. That I may ascend. That I may rise up to the place where you have ordained for me. I want to behold. I want to behold. I want to behold beauty and glory. I want to behold life and strength. I want to behold light and glory. I want to behold I want to behold the things you are doing for me. I do not want to continue to see weakness and sickness and afflictions and pains. Your word is true. You are making all things new for me. You have made all things new for me. Behold, all things have become new. My health is new. My life is new. My strength is new. My businesses are new. My ministry is new. This week, there is newness in KKCI. Newness in this house. Newness in the leaders. Newness in the ministers. Newness in the laborers. Newness in the pastorate. New energy. New strength. New grace. New soaring. New rising. Kapeta la dosha. Arata kate karatana. Eskete kete rekwa. Yakakwa takakwa talabadagai. Erekata kataya. Let the scales fall off. Let the scales fall off. Let the scales fall off. Let me see my helpers. Let me see my strengtheners. Let me see what I ought to say. Let the scales fall off. Let the scales fall off. I want to behold the new things. You made all things new. You made all things new. All things new for me. You made all things new. You made all things new. Abba, hey. All things new in my life. You made all things new. You made all things new. All things new. All things new. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 and 12 Still on behold Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 and verse 12 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me saying Jeremiah what seest thou? Hey! Steve Okeke what seest thou? What are you seeing 
about your coming. And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Consequent upon the fact of what you are seeing, the hastening of the word begins. When a man is in seeing newness, God will not hasten his newness. Delay is a product of devotion to blindness. Denial is a function of dedication to blindness. When a man is blind, his portion is denied him. Anything becomes the reality for him. You are going to pray that everything that makes me not to see correctly oh Lord remove it from my life today God said to Jeremiah you have well seen for consequent upon the fact of your sin I will hasten my word and I will perform it Father as we begin to see correctly Hasting your promises in our lives. Can we begin to pray for correction in our seeing right now? Open your mouth and begin to pray. You make all things new for me. Lord, I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, correct my seeing, O oh Lord. I want to see people correctly. I want to see ministry correctly. I want to see family correctly. I want to see my future correctly. I want to see my faith correctly. Ashatakaparatakaya. Correct seeing, O Lord. Correct seeing, O Lord. Correct seeing, O Lord. I have seen this weakness enough. I have seen strength now. I have seen this failure enough. I have seen success right now. I have seen this abandonment enough. I have seen support. I have seen helpers. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. Walking it out for me. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. Come on, Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 13, verse 16. Blessed are my eyes for the see and my ears for the hear. I see, I see. My eyes are blessed. My ears are blessed. My eyes are blessed. For blessed are your ear eyes for the see and your ears for the hear. For blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear. Come on, begin to bless your eye right now. Declare to your eye, my eye, thou seest, thou seest correctly. My eyes, you are seeing beauty, you are seeing glory, you are seeing life, you are seeing lifting, you are seeing light, you are seeing success, you are seeing excellence, you are seeing significance, you are seeing dominion and authority and power. I see no debt. I see no failure. I see glory everywhere. I see glory everywhere. I see glory everywhere. I see glory everywhere. I see excellent children. I see excellent members. I see beautiful people. I see increase. I see increase. I see no diminishing. I see no scattering. I see lifting. I see light. I see power. I see power. I see increase. I see fire. I see the anointing. I see the freshness of the glory of God. Shed the Say all things new for me. You made all things new. You made all things new. In my life, all things new. In my life, you made all things new. I can see them. You made all things new. Yeah, I can see. All things new everywhere. All things new. All things new. 
all things new everywhere all things new all things new all things new in my life precious saints of God we have come to the end of today's midday prayers hear me and hear me very well the seizure the seizure of the realities of God by a man is a product of the scenes of those realities. Tomorrow, we will be praying. I see all things. Listen, the Bible says, the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom, in whom the God of this world had blinded. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. In whom the God of this world have blinded the mind of them that believe not. If the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Hear me, precious saints. Tomorrow we'll be dealing with every mental and mind blindness. The idea is that we turn your life around in your calling and ministry. We break out in your life. I didn't hear your amen. amen. It will break out in your life. Amen. You will no longer hold back. Amen. God will hasten his word in your life. Amen. All things new in my life. Precious saints of God, I welcome you to this wonderful week and God made all things new. And in this week, your testimony of newness will not fail. Your testimony of newness will not fail. Amen. Newness in every area of your life. Amen. Come on, keep seeing newness. Amen. Keep seeing newness. Behold, I made all things new. Behold, I make all things new. The secret is in beholding. Tomorrow we'll continue on this beholding prayer. That God will cleanse every blindness away. Destroy every veil. Cut out every scale. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. Open our minds. Open our eyes. There are many people that are in beautiful churches today. But they don't see anything good. Because their hearts are blinded. You have a beautiful man of God who prays for you. Who does everything for you. But the only thing you are seeing is fault. Because the devil does not want you to prosper. He doesn't want you to be fruitful. There are people who are doing very beautiful business. But their eyes are in another person's shop. They don't see anything good in the business. There are people who have wonderful ministries. But their eyes are... The Bible said wisdom is before him that had understanding. That's what the word of God said. Wisdom is before him that has understanding. But the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. Wisdom is before him that has understanding. But the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. Saints of God, your eyes will open and you will see what you need. Tomorrow we look at cases and pray. That that which you need to see, you must see them. The realities, the beauties, the glory, the wonders. 
How can God give you beautiful people and you see nothing but ugliness? Give you beautiful wife. The only thing you see are the things she's not doing well. Give you beautiful caring husband. Do you know that a woman went to divorce her husband? Why? Ask me why. Because the husband is too caring. If you offend the husband, the husband will find a way to resolve it. The woman says she doesn't like. The judge asked her, are you okay at all? The devil can blind your mind. That every good thing you are supposed to see, you only see in badness. God will cleanse that heart. Amen. Cleanse that eye. Remember tomorrow, 12 noon, Nigerian time, we are returning back to and God made all things new for me. We are returning back to that prayer. And then on Wednesday, we are still going to go on radio for moments of real encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll be hosting that program 5.30 p.m. Nigerian time or Central African time on Voice 89.9 FM and we will still be online on Facebook Live from the radio station. On Wednesday on more, we are dealing with critical issues. Last week we dealt with the issue of unclean spirit. This week, I trust God will deal with other issues and God will be setting you up for success. Join us in this program. This week, is that wonderful week for reigning in life conference 2023 hallelujah glory glory hallelujah it's an awesome time reigning in life conference 2023 thy will be done oh lord starting this thursday 23rd to sunday 26th of march 2023 5 p.m every day if you are within our doe kitty and environment, we need you to be here in person. If you are not within Adoe Kitty, join us every day, 5.30 p.m. as we come online. And a mighty man of God, a man who has served God for more than 40 years in Ekiti land, will be ministering to us in the person of Reverend Kola De Kayo Ajayi. He is the incoming PFN chairman Ekiti State. He will be ministering in the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit at King's Arena, Kilometer 2, Ado Iworoko Road, opposite A.A. Rano Filling Station, beside Matrix Filling Station, at Debayo, Ado Ekiti. God bless you as you join us. Remember, that after this week, Kingdom Kings Church continues with our services on Thursday, 5 p.m., and on Sunday, 9 a.m., at Kingdom Kings Church International for the time of intimate worship an intense word from the Lord. I celebrate you and we continue to declare that God makes all things new. Remember that this is midday intercession and prophetic prayer and wherever there are people to pray, there is the living God to answer them. He makes all things new. I will see you again tomorrow.
of thieves 